Not today, they. This is interesting. Step aside! Listen, Jesus, man. Son. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the latest edition of Western Wednesdays where every Wednesday I watch a film from the Western genre and today's film I'm going to be watching is Open Range with Kevin Costner and Robert Duvall. So Robert Duvall, I've seen quite a few films on the channel now, the two Godfather films and then when it comes to Westerns, the Lonesome Dove miniseries which was excellent, uh, he was appeared in Joe Cade and he was also one of the villains in um, True Grit. And then with Kevin Costner I saw him in... Um, a Field of Dreams, which I thought was a great little film. Really enjoyed that one. And he also in the Western, uh, Silverado. So I know Costner has done a couple of Westerns. Um, I know Dances with Wolves is another one on the, on the list. And I know he's got like, a, is it Horizon it's called? He's got the first of like a four series film of Westerns. I know the first one's coming out this summer. I think I'm going to go see it in the in the cinema. Uh, as opposed to watching it on the channel. I just think it'd be nice, as I've got into Westerns, to watch a new one in the cinema fresh. Um, but is there any other westerns that he's done if you want to let me know just um, suggest because I feel like he, he's kind of done a good few Kevin Costner um, But in terms of the premise of this film, I don't really know anything I think just I think Duvall and Costner are friends in it. Their characters are friends uh, But there will be a full uncut reaction to this film and that will be on my patron page link will be in the description um, And if you want to become a patron, uh, there's different tiers of different perks on it um, And just a big shout out to my patrons already that are um, part of the group on the patron so like Ravi JM63 uh, Mary, Blaze, uh, Jared, Jenny, Gigi Gooding and Behal. Uh, thank you so much for the support, it really is appreciated. Uh, but with that said guys, let's watch Open Range. It's kind of one of the few kind of, I would say, more modern westerns I've watched on the channel. Most of the westerns I've watched have been kind of 60s, kind of 70s back, you know, a lot of fun from the 50s and the 40s. Reminds me of Ireland a bit. Think she'll get over this away? Mike. That sky does not look happy. Oh, it's a lovely dog. I did say the rain was angry, or the sky was angry. Looks like we're in for it. Yeah. If you live in Ireland, you're used to that kind of weather. You ever seen one this bad? Not too snow in the flood. Oh, the dog looks very terrified. You should know. You were there. Kind of looks a bit like Daniel Russo from Karate Kid. All right, that's it. I'm out. Oh my god, look how deep they in their eyes. Every man's gotta pull his weight button. Yeah, but my weight is half of yours. <laughs> how many horses went missing? There's a couple down there. Button! Button! <laughs> Quit playing with that dog and pull the wagon. Mind your hands. Oh. How did they get them all to come up with him? They're such majestic animals, just the way they gallop, don't they? Just two left in the back. To another town. Could use supplies, coffee and such. Lows? Without cows slowing things, maybe one day there, one back. Sounds about right. Come on, boss. I can do it. Just don't know if that town's ready to have you turn loose on just yet. Got well, They're back on track anyway. There probably should be more than four of them to herding that much cattle, wouldn't you think? I got it. If you're going to pick your feet like a monkey, you do it downwind. <laughs> Get yourself a trade and set up in a town. You'll always have a roof over your head. A bed up off the ground. Otherwise, no one could stand a stick. <laughs> was he joking or was he being harsh? What'd you do that for? Cheating at cards. Oh, dog is lovely. 
He could have got hurt between that town and the camp. Well, he's just taking his time. You worried? Yeah, I'm worried. Been worried since yesterday. Should have sent me. Yeah, Moe's can look out for himself. All right. You and me strike out early. Button can watch the outfit. Wants to go. She acts like she does, but she don't. Still got the heart, not the legs. Expecting trouble? Always like me a side arm with some. Not planning on staying long? Long it takes to find who we're looking for. Oh. Big man needing a haircut about 30. Uh, That's his rig right there. Okay, we'll confirm he was definitely here then. Oh, yeah. Know who you're talking about. Yeah, he's up in the jailhouse. He got into it with some with some cattlemen over at the general store. Evening. Name's Boss Spearman. This year's Charlie Waite. I have a friend of ours in your jail. His name's Mose Harrison. Yeah, I got him here. I just said he started. You said he didn't. Maybe you're calling me a liar. You got a charge against him? I got You pay the fines and you can have them. How much is it? How does uh, $50 each offense sound? That's a lot Robert. back then. My name's Denton Baxter. Be your man Moe's tussle with. That's right. I got the biggest spread around these parts. Be 93 or 4 put together. He's supposed to be Irish. Along with this town. Free graze is legal. Times change, Mr. Spearman. Most folks change with them. A few holdouts never do. You can take him with you when you leave tonight. Up your wagon. And get your damn free graze cattle moving and keep them moving till you're out of Fort Harmon country. Yeah, so he's letting them go, but telling them to get the hell out of that. Don't be grazing on the land. Someone's put the boost from him after he was down. Does it? And the fact you said that means that that's the truth. Laying down in there. There was obviously more to it than that. And I, I believed him and said he didn't start it. Just... This man was in the fight with Den That's right. right. He certainly gave as good as he got. And then they had a cover, I expect. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. How much owe you, doctor? Or even. I figured I made enough off the damage he did to Baxter's man. Doc Barlow's got him pretty wide. Notice that, did you? <laughs> well, I ain't dead. A woman like that makes a man think about setting down roots. Hey. There's the dog. Wayne. <laughs> Loyalty for you. I thought I told you to stay with the wagon. What happened to Moses? Did you hear what I said? Yeah, but what happened? Charlie's a good cop boss. Is like back home. this morning. Where? Maybe half a mile out. What the fuck? The same ones. Four this time. When he last time? Country's filling up. I've seen him like Baxter before. He means to have this herd or scatter it to the wind. Wants us all in one place. Far from there when it happens. I to make it seem like they didn't do anything. We're the only. Beautiful country. Very beautiful. A man can get lost out here. How long have we been riding together, Charlie? Nigh on ten years. A decade. You know what to call that? Call it a decade. <laughs> Long time. You two keep a sharp eye out. Got this cat again. We'll be watching for him. Yeah. I got some sugar in that town. In the wagon. Oh, I thought he meant something else for a second. <laughs> oh, God, please don't kill that dog. Lucky for him, he shoots with either hand. One twitch, and you're in hell. I throw them guns on the ground. Yeah. 
I'm not gang up on a man three to one. Oh! What, wasn't our idea to jump him? Shut up, Wiley. He's Irish as well. How many riders? The rest are on their way to your wagon. Oh, shit. I am worried about the other two, though. And the dog. Oh, is there like a lot of bodies on the ground? No, Tim, come to me. Oh, fuck. The bastards. They shot the boy, but he's alive. He's dead. <sighs> shot him in the head. What's the dog? Charlie? Oh, for fuck's sake. Charlie. Why? I said it in the film before, if you ever want to hate the antagonist, have them kill a dog. You just want them to die now, with all of them to die. He's gonna sit out here waiting with them cows. That's right. He's not gonna give kill up. Kill every son of a bitch that comes to take him. Approve of that, boss. One man on open ground, he sure like got a lot Every of single one of those life. shits out. But he needs that doctor back in that town. I aim to take him. I don't figure into it, boss. Button deserves every chance we can give him. Is there no other town nearby? It's real nice, Charlie. I could you put old Tig with him. Hmm. Yeah, well, he was more Mo's dog in the end when he was mine. Well, you got yourself a good man and a good dog, and I'm inclined to agree with boss here about holding a grudge against you for it. But you said some things the last couple of days. Things that seemed like they had kind of a history. My first skirmish was pretty much like hunting in them woods with my friends. We just must have been a hundred of them lying dead after the smoke cleared. What a call for a man with them skills. And I put him to work for men just like Baxter. Get through a day without thinking about who I am. Try to live with it. It does linger a lot, kind of, in the moment. It does, like, kind of, kind of well, let you reflect on I don't each think scene. it's a fracture. Concussion's more likely, but it's to admit, we don't see a lot of people shot. I cleaned and dressed the wound as best I could. Doesn't look infected. What, we come a long way to see that the boy gets looked after proper by Dr. Barlow. Mm. Now, where's he at? Baxter's hands came and fetched him out to the ranch. Some men there had an accident night before last. We're obliged to deal with the Marshal and Baxter ourselves. Well, what about Button? Well, he's fighting for his life. We're gonna do the same. Are they gonna straight after them, though? We'd like to put all the horses up and head a tough trail. And I'd like to set the wagon yonder. Help yourself! Or they do. Oh, shit. Oh, it's like deep. What a dog! It's a dog there, Charlie! Oh, let it up, let it up! It's coming towards you, catch him! God, careful, careful. Yeah. Peter and I just been swimming. I owe you, mister. Sweet fuck you got there. Mind you anyone, Charlie? Too small to be let out in this weather. Belongs to my daughter. I tried to grab, but the water was too fast for me. Cafe. I'd be proud to buy you both a cup of coffee. Put your puppy way back first in the home. Make sure it's safe. He's gonna spot him. Yep, he spotted him. No need to make the cafe messy with folks. I've got a warrant sworn out for your arrest for assaulting. Oh, we got a man. warrant sworn for attempted murder for them that tried to kill the boy who's laying over there at the docks trying to stay alive. It's writ by us. And we aim to enforce it. Is that so?
You bet your bottom daughter. Shot a 16 year old boy too and clubbed him so hard. And killed the dog. Tried to take our cattle. Your marshal here ain't gonna do nothing about it. No, he's a piece of shit. We got no intention of harming bystanders. But I'll be seeing you gents real soon. You can count on that. I say we take him right out of jail. Lock him up. Make the Baxter come riding in. Is there to be any good fight in this weather? What'd you think of my speech in there? <laughs> I thought it was damn good, boss. He's asleep. Please come in. Are you Is sure? Is the man? doctor back? We're a might rank. We don't want to mess your house. <laughs> <laughs> Get her big fat fingers in these holes. <laughs> Too many broken. She's one finger. Oh, let me get you something bigger. No, man, we can have <laughs> No need for a wife at home. We're just like a, a old married couple. <laughs> Never know that, did you, Charlie? Had a wife and child. Stop this child. Fancy, but we was young. Loved each other. They caught the typhus and died, and that home didn't seem a place to spend time. It's a reminder of their death. If Button lives, and we survive Baxter, to see to it, there's a home he's sleeping in instead of the cold prairie. Take him in under your wing, in a homely setting. Maybe he might seek out a wife, you know, Charlie. Have yourself a last cup of tea, Charlie. Been riding with him ten years. Never said nothing about being married. And he kept something like that from him. But maybe it's a sore subject um, for him. You come back. It's like lost his wife, lost his child. Um, what was it? His dog. Kind of dumb talking to him like that. Doesn't want to lose him as well. No. <sighs> Shit. Fuck. Get in the house. What's that? It's alright, Charlie. What caused that? Was it just fatigue or? Shot not sneak up like that. She weren't sneaking. It scared that woman half to death. Where is the rest of the film gonna take place on this night? Barkey! Two whiskeys? Will not serve them. You see that sign? These parts free grazers is a first. Oh. Nice. Now he no. asked you twice. Ain't gonna ask again. All right. These are the fellas that saved my dog. I couldn't serve them if they saved Jesus himself. Oh. Oh, hey, man! No, 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 don't go there. <laughs> hey, wait. Could these guys help them, possibly? Is all that true? What you said in the, in the battle against Baxter's people. In suit? That's right. Well, she makes somebody a fine wife, but she ain't the dogs. Your sister? And his wife. Ah. Maybe a chance for Charlie, so. Big fella. Yeah, saw the whole thing. That big fella drove the hell out of the mother three. Broke one's arm. Why did they attack him? Butler, would it? That's what they say. Seemed like a nice young fella. Shame what this town has come to. He says that some of them see this and see that what Baxter really is. Is he really alone though? Get your hands up. You must be plumb crazy. Shut up. Dead men. Didn't he tell you to shut up? <laughs> oh, chloroform. Stole it from the docks. Ah, I knew they would come back in. They must have something about that. Yeah, rest of Whoa. Yeah. Sweet. Oh. oh, nice. Lucky here. Pull that blind down, that one there. You didn't pull it down. Did he kill him? Oh, it's the chloroform. Hey, 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 
Give us a fright, Bart. So, it's good to have you back. We owe you, Miss Bartlow. Does he know that um, Moe's died? Thank God instead to stay. I thought I'd make myself some breakfast. Two more mouths wouldn't be any bother. I wouldn't have looked a second time, man. I want to apologize for earlier. Oh, no, no. There's no need. You were startled. I'm trying to put some bad times behind me, but sometimes they don't stay put. Always makes me feel better to let things breathe a little, not bury them. Well, that's all any of us can do. I guess so you don't suppress it and, like, it can become more difficult if you better. ignore it or try to ignore it. We've been thinking that you and the doc was married. Husband and wife. Did? <laughs> She's like, that explains find some out things. Last night. I used Again, as I said earlier, honorable men. I wouldn't have liked if they had been married and he had tried to moderate this. I've seen how you look at that gal and the way she looks at you. <laughs> boss hey, is more experienced in her, he can tell word. these what things. What do you want me to tell her, boss? If he ain't gonna make it, be a big fat comfort. Mm, that's, that's actually fair as well. I'll tell her whatever you can, because she's entitled to more than just your backside. Walking away. Boss is right about that. He's a. Uh, he's right about a lot of things. You know. I always hoped somebody gentle and caring might come along. Your hopes begin to fade a little every day until you hardly remember what they were. Mm. And the respect you give, boss. They might be little bets, but. They're enough for a woman who looks. I think you kind of become more clued in as you get older, don't you? But what's more important, a potential partner, and what isn't? I can't take your locket. When it's a gift. It's a good likeness of you. It's my mother. When she... Happy. <laughs> Bring your breakfast. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Hey, come with me. Got uh, jawbreakers, yeah. gumdrops, candy canes, licorice. Uh, hey, yeah, licorice. It's dark chocolate. Yeah. Comes all the way from Switzerland. You melts in your mouth. You tried it? No. How you know it melts in your mouth? <laughs> I don't know if they have it in America, but lint chocolate, Swiss. You can get all different kind of flavors, but oh my god, it's amazing. It's so good. Mm. Keep planning to get something if he survives. We're wishing you good luck now. I like that they've had kind of a couple of relations with certain people in the town as well. Like Sue, that guy, the horses, the man who owned the puppy. It just starts. It's gonna be messy like nothing you ever seen. Well, I ain't so loud my ears without being in some fights, yeah, Charlie. Fact is, it's what I always respected about you, what I always appreciated. How you treated other people. How you... It'll happen fast once I start, so just keep yourself moving forward. Either one, two, three, four, nine or ten, is If I die, please sell my good horse and my good saddle and my guns. To buy a tea set for Miss Barlow. It's kind of the what ifs of your life, isn't it? Oh, what hell. You may have done in the past what you want to do in the future. But you got to get over this. <laughs> Looks like you're plum chained to your work, Marshal. Get up, pool. <laughs> right. It's time to settle these three grazers. Anyone else help them or assist in some way? I'm not going to my maker without knowing your given name. Mine ain't waiting. It's Postal Wayne. Boss Travis, Postal Wayne. What's well, yours? Sure ain't boss. <laughs> Go on, tell him. I mean it, boss. I'm asking you straight up. It's Blue Bonnet. First Blue name. Bonnet? Blue Bonnet, yeah. No middle name? No, just Blue Bonnet Spearman. Great dynamic, too. They're really good together. 
Just... You really believe like they've been together for about ten years. You need to be careful, man. They can fucking shoot you. You won't find it so funny when you're all shot the hell and dying. I shot the boy too, and I enjoyed it. What a scumbag! <laughs> what the hell? Holy mother of mercy! Oh shit! Boss, boss got shot, didn't he? Just when you get no music, it kind of feels like you're there with them, gritty in the dirt. Don't get the horses, man. Whatever you do, do not get the horses. Why would he try and shoot them? Back up! Holy shit! It was about time some of them helped him get. Oh no! You got no! You can forget about me patching you up. You get your bag. Oh, God. You're going out there. We ain't ourselves yet! Charlie? You said we was going to kill them all. I aim to do just that. Don't you a shot? Kill them, not murder them. Them killing knows how this started. Mm. We come for justice, not vengeance. Now, them is two different things. This is interesting. Step aside! Listen Jesus, to him, son. Man. You done what you had to here because they give you no choice. The only thing is, he could have a weapon still, though. Uh, you know, he, he can't be too careful. Sue! Get in here! Oh, man. Oh! Why did you do it like that? It should come up slowly. And quickly. Slowly and quickly, whatever that means. <laughs> oh! It's like, obviously, Boss would have even more experience than Charlie. So I don't think that Charlie is the one that really. She's going into this vengeful <laughs> approach. But, by the same token, as I said, when you're in this kind of situation where there's so many people, that could potentially kill you. Be too careful. But. Oh no, that was the young lad, did it? You come walking down the street or I'll shoot him! Fuck. You've got ten seconds! Four! Well, is he gonna Two. sacrifice her as well? It's a great shot. Doesn't matter whether you run or stay! You and your boys are already dead! I didn't come all the way from Ireland! See my land pissed on by free grazers. Him first. The gun hand. God, this is fucking tense. Standing with him. Dead. So is he! No, no, but he's bleeding bad again! God oh. damn it. Yes. Oh! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Both oh, killed each other. Oh, what's the doctor? No, I ain't wasting a good 
Well, it is your pain, you son of a bitch. You might have a weapon, though. Oh, the dog is alright. Your man's in the saloon. Ordered everybody out. Asked to see your your sister if, if she's willing. Well, ask her to marry him, or he's not dying because he got shot in the lake. Tell you that I'll be leaving in a day or two. What? Truth is, there wouldn't be a corner here that don't have a bad memory for me. Hmm. That's fair. I know you feel something for me too. I don't have the answers, Charlie, but I know that people get confused in this life about. I've got a big idea about us, Charlie. I'm not answer wait questions. Forever, but I am going to wait. Come back to me. She's a patient woman, isn't she? Charlie and Boss separating. <laughs> Wait, he come right back? Is he still limping? So it couldn't be too far on. I'm in love with you, Sue. Maybe she knew he'd come back all along. Been that way since I first laid eyes on you. Never thought I'd live as long as I have, Sue. I guess living the way I have really mattered. Maybe he feels lucky now that he's escaped all these incidents he's been in. Yes. Marry you. Take care now. Charlie. Sue. There's a saloon right back there. It just had its owner die. Hoping you'll be my partner. Oh. Pay for something like that. Not even half. Well, we'll let the brains of the outfit do the thinking. Okay, and that was Open Range, and I really enjoyed this film. Um, I'll talk for it just on, again, Costner and um, Duval as a duo really work well. There's some great chemistry there, and the dynamic between their two characters um, is really interesting because, like, obviously, Boss is the boss, and he kind of has Charlie under his wing. They've been together for like 10 years, but I found it so fascinating how they had that clash when they were in the middle of that fantastic battle scene, which I'll get to in a moment. Uh, the final battle but that charlie was like just you kill at all costs like we just have to get this done because of the risk where boss was like you know it's not about vengeance it's about doing what's right and like when you have him down you don't need to get him down in cold blood because then you were essentially becoming what those who did to your friends in the first place but uh, then charlie makes a good point like well they started it like they initiated this like we didn't go out seeking to hurt people but they hurt those close to us so I thought that whole thing between the two of them I thought was really interesting. Um, initially I thought the stuff between Sue and um, and Charlie would, seemed a little forced, but by the end of it I was really into that as well. And I'm not really a guy for romance a lot of the time, but I really, really enjoyed that. And kind of him questioning himself and who he was as a, as a person and like kind of wondering why she would be into him, you know. So I think he had issues with himself he had to start off before he could kind of commit to you know proclaiming his love for her and that they could you know because obviously she kind of showed that she was into him and she wanted to be with him so that was really fascinating as well and kind of the, this thing of like you know already saying like uh, this certain things were being in this town certain things remind me of the horrendous things i've done and, and, and again there was a little bit of an element of a philosophical thing to it as well where it's like you know you're always questioning yourself always throughout your life you know stuff you've done in the past stuff you might have to do in the future that you're thinking about doing it really made you think and i love that as well um you know i really like the moles and the young the young guy as well the, the, the dog dying was horrendous but it made me despise baxter and the villains uh, the guy who played baxter i don't know if he was really irish but his accent was fantastic and it just it really helps when you see that it's the actual an authentic accent because it just it doesn't take you out of it. Uh, but as a villain, he was brilliant. But he's, if, if he's not actually Irish, his accent was brilliant as well. And the the, the gun down, the good, the final kind of gun, gun showdown with the gun, the gun battle, that whole thing was brilliant as well. And what I liked was 
there was uh for a lot of it there was no music used so as i said it felt like you were really there i liked as well that like there was a lot of shots that were missing where you could see people up close but they were missing their shots so it just brought an extra uh, element of realism to it as well so um yeah all in all i thought this was a very good western film with some really good performances good actors and just good storylines uh but guys let me know in the comments your thoughts on open range um where would this rank among your favorite westerns among your favorite deval westerns among your favorite costner westerns i uh, would love to hear your thoughts uh, but until next time slongful <laughs>